What is up? <laughs> it's been a long time. I, um, I've been so busy. <laughs> I say that every time I come on here and talk, but it's, it's probably been over a month or almost a month since I was on here. Um, we, uh, we went to Arizona back in May, which is just over a month now when we were there. Um, we, we found the place. We actually sent in our deposits in the middle of uh, this past week. Um, very excited um, we've been packing pretty much every weekend since uh, since like February or March maybe maybe before that um, very excited to move next month it's hard to believe it's gonna be next month um, a month from this coming Wednesday um, will be one month and I am thoroughly excited about that um, but everything from everything from packing to my eye surgery I had uh, about the end of last month, <laughs> I had eye surgery. Uh, I was in the hospital for about eight hours. And they did a retinal detachment surgery on my left eye. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but um, you can see that my eyelid is a little droopy still. Um, it's pretty much healed right now, but, um, the, the problem is, um, is I, I can't really see out of my left eye, and by not being able to see, I mean my eye is blurry because I need a new prescription for my eye. Um, I've been taking eye drops weekly. I've got it down to once a week, and that's done this week, so I'm pretty much done with my eye drops now. Um... The first week was was hell, <laughs> to put it uh, to put it frank. Um, my eye was completely red. Um, didn't look anything like this. I mean, right now it's still a little red, but it's nothing like it was. Um, but. I'm I'm just happy the surgery went well. I've been I've had a couple of doctor's appointments since then and I said my eye is healing very well and I have another doctor's appointment this coming Wednesday uh, to just, you know, check my eye and then, you know, hopefully I should be getting a new prescription for my for my left lens. Um, I shouldn't need one for my right one because all they did was laser that one. They didn't do surgery on it, so um, that should be pretty easy um, to do. <clears throat> but, I mean, packing has been pretty much the biggest thing right now. Um, we, uh, just staying busy honestly like it's been humid as heck here um, over the last month and not really having proper AC 
I mean, we have a AC wall unit, but it doesn't do much. Only in the living room, and then the air sometimes get back, gets back into the living or into the bedroom. But even then, it doesn't really do much. Um, so. <laughs> This weekend was kind of a chill weekend. Next weekend, we're going to Iowa for Cassie's uh, get together with her family um, to see her second cousin. Not real sure, but anyways, her mom's coming. Her mom's coming down from the cities, and then we're all kind of driving down there together, sort of. To, to get together and then have kind of one last last get together before with her family before we uh, leave next month um, then the weekend after that I don't think we have anything going on I, I honestly can't remember we have something going on practically every week um, for July, I think we're just gonna chill. We may end up going to the to like the the parade or something, but um, I'm packing up the rest of all this stuff, and we just have big stuff left. I mean, we have some kitchen stuff left, but even then, it's not that bad. Um, I'm just looking forward to getting out of here. I'm getting kind of anxious now because it's so close. Um, I also have a job interview lined up. When I get there, I need to just call the HR manager. And uh, she said when I got closer to call her, and then she'll set up an open, open interview at a grocery store down in Arizona. So... I'm very excited for that. Um, I'm just excited for a new start. Um, it's been ooh, see ya, nice, see ya. <laughs> Gregor Blanco just had two run home run for the Diamondbacks and that's exactly what I'm excited for one of the things I'm excited for is to be able to see my hometown baseball team in person that's just one of the many things I'm excited for that's more of a, a uh, you know the cherry on top you know it's not important but it's it's very nice. I don't think he's hit a home run this year yet. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm just excited to get down there. It, it's been a long twenty something years here in Minnesota, living here. Um, you know, I went down to Arizona once for six months and didn't work out for several reasons. Um, won't go into details, but um, I, I've talked about before on here, and I'm not going to rehash it, but I wasn't ready then, and I wasn't, I was by myself, living with my parents, not a good situation, so on and so forth. This time, you know, I've, we, we've been planning this for many years me and my wife and uh, it's something we both want it's something that we're doing together you know so that's that's the difference this time is I'm, 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 we're going as a family not you know by ourselves you know one way or the other so that's what gets me excited about this time around and like I said, it's been a long time living here in Minnesota, and it's just just worn out its welcome. 
and yes I'm from Arizona and yes I am you know lived there for many years and blah 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 but I guess sometimes I, f I feel like it's I don't know what the hell that was. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm I'm just excited to start my life with my wife. <laughs> I know that rhymed, but you know, we, we since we got married three years ago in September, which was only a few months away. Did I say that right? We got married three years ago in September. And we really haven't got a chance to do the things that we've wanted to do. We've just kind of been here. We haven't been here per se. You know, we, we haven't been doing anything fun too much. We haven't been, you know, everything that we want to do is out there and I just realized that I've, I've mentioned all this before so I'm not going to rehash it if you guys want to know more about it or, or I forgot I can go back and listen to it myself I'm just excited and anxious and so is my wife and We've already met new friends down there, and my dad is not there right now. He's actually overseas, so that gives us some time to um, settle in before he comes back, um, and not make it feel like we're so we're like. You know, like overwhelmed with parents around all the time, I guess. Um, I'm excited to, to see a new part of, of Phoenix that I really haven't spent a lot of time in. Um, I, I've seen the west side of Phoenix really yes I've been to Tempe yes I've been to Mesa but I haven't lived in Mesa I haven't lived in that east southeast side of Phoenix before so I'm excited you know it's right in uh, right by the south mountain and uh, a very very quiet area so I'm, I'm excited lots to do there lots to see California is only five and a half hours away six you know and if I want to go back and visit the west side of Phoenix and Avondale I can you know visit childhood memories if I want you know there there was a point in which I was going to we were going to move to Avondale but then we decided that's probably not the the place we should be living because we want to start out together in a place that we've never both have experienced you know if we were to move to Avondale it would have been me knowing everything and Cassie not knowing not knowing a whole lot so this way right now we're, we're both we're both um, wow damn this way we're both learning a new part of the, the city
you know, so. I'm getting distracted by baseball. There are so many things I'm trying to get better at with my personality. It's not that my personality is bad, it's just my anxiety takes over and I need to learn to control it better. And I'm not happy with myself about that. I hope like 20 years from now I can say I overcame this because it'll be right here <laughs> you know everything I've gone through even now I look back at my videos from 10 years ago and I just my jaw drops <laughs> I mean the person I am now is not the person I was back then uh, for the better um, I've progressively became a more independent and and a person that doesn't get walked over like I used to you know and granted back then I was you know 19 20 or 21 when I started doing this and I I feel good about how far I've come and I hope and I hope it just continues to progress. I'm excited to, to show, to shoot video of the trip down to Phoenix, the move down to Phoenix, I guess. Um, I'm excited about a lot. I'm excited about so much. Going back to the Grand Canyon, being able to do all the things that we wanted to do when we were down there, but we just never got a chance to because we had no time, and <sighs> we'll have time now, <laughs> obviously. Um, it's, it's just an exciting time for us. A real exciting time. And Cassie is a little more, is more comfortable now. Uh, now that she has been to Phoenix uh, for the second time and being able to like look around the city a little bit and, and see what's, <clears throat> what we you know where we're moving and all that. So it's, it works out really well. Excuse me. Ugh. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I just wanted to come on here and talk about whatever was on my mind, whether it was rehashing something or not. I'm not trying to rehash anything, so. Jeez. There's five to four. Nice. Going back to what I was saying before, there are things that I want to work on. You know how when you think something, like when you're out and about, and when someone like, you know, gets you mad, and you keep it to yourself, which I do, I'm, you know, people are gonna upset you from time to time and make you mad and you just keep it to yourself. And, um, you know, you, you kinda have to you can't let your emotions control you all the time. In some situations it's okay, but most of the time you have to. And I think 
with my anxiety, I think family it's harder because with family it's harder because you know they're always there for you so you tend to let things slide a little bit with your anxiety and the things that you're thinking in your head and I need to learn to be the same way in a way with with that with family you know you can't take advantage of a family so much as far as as far as not letting your thoughts always control you so if that makes sense and I hope to continue to do that to to control my emotions more and again that has to do with anxiety so there are parts of it that I cannot help but I am working so hard to do that I think about it all the time and um, I want to do that with, with my family whether it's my, my dad or my wife or whoever it is I just have to you know, sometimes you have to bite your tongue with certain things that you don't agree with and move on. Uh, and I am want to do that in certain situations. And I'm not suggesting you let people walk over you. I don't. When I, when I think something's wrong, I will speak up. But when it's stupid little things that, that don't matter, I need to be better. So, anyway, I've just been going on for the last 22 minutes here. I need to just cut it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, get going and uh, we'll talk to you later. Peace.